Okay, come on. All right, guys. So today is my first ride on Adele. So this is day six of training. Cowboys there with me and we had a discussion. So I made a promise to him that I will wear my helmet on the first ride of every horse that I'm training because I don't know them. I don't know how they're going to react and just to be safe. So we'll go ahead and do that. Keep them happy. Okay, now here I'm flexing Adele. Like you don't want to just get on the horse and um, you know let give them their head. You want to always flex them in. That way, if they do try to do any silly business, like take off on you or start bucking, you have control of them because you could because you could yield their hind end. Okay, here I'm just trying to, I'm desensitizing. I'm letting her know I'm getting on, I'm getting on. So she's not stopping, so I'm just going to have to go with her. <laughs> yeah, this is the hard part. So as soon as she stopped, she, she did a little stop. Not as much as I wanted, but, you know, I went ahead and gave her the release of pressure. Said, okay, that's all what I'm trying to do. I'm getting her used to my weight. Okay, so again, don't give them their head. You always want to flex them in. That's how you will be safe. And the horse won't take off or start bucking. So see there, as soon as I got on, she started. If I didn't have her head, she would have definitely taken off on me and probably started bucking. I don't know, but I did not want to find out. So there, I flexed her in. I got her attention and now I'm going to flex her the other way. So, okay. So she's moving. That's all right. We're just going to move with her. She stops. I release the pressure because I'm just letting her know right now we're just flexing. Okay. We're not taking off. We're not moving those feet. I just want you to flex. And there she's doing really well. So a lot of times when you get on horses that you're working with or that you know, you know, just restarting or starting, don't ever let them go forward. So you always want to start in a little circle in case they decide to take off or do something naughty. You have full control of them because you could flex them in. So here I'm just kind of feeling her out and okay, go forward and um, She's really, so what I've learned is that she really likes to spin, 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 spin. So here, I said, okay, come on. Let's go a little, little more forward. And she didn't want to, so I kind of turned her around. I gave her a little whack because my kicking wasn't working. And I do have the spurs on, and she wasn't responding to that. So I did give her a little whack for extra motivation, and I got her to move. So yeah, this, this takes a good, um, we're out here for a good 10 minutes. All what she knows to do is circle. She didn't really know how to go forward. And there's a couple of times where she was getting really naughty on me and really shaking that head and just throwing a huge tantrum. Now here, I realize that, you know, we're not going any forward. So I asked Cowboy to come over and help me. So I had him grab her by the halter. I did have the halter on her and I had a bit as well. And I had him just kind of give her a little pull, like encourage forward motion. And she's doing really good. And then as soon as I picked up those reins, she's like, ah, I don't know what I'm doing. Ah, freaking out, freaking out. And so here I just had 
him walk beside us and she started doing really good and then I said okay we're gonna just turn her around and I kind of lost it she's like uh uh I don't know how to go forward. I don't know. I'm just going to go in circles because that's all what I know what to do. Right here, she's really fighting that bit. So I did learn, and later on, I did end up putting the bozal. Watch out, babe. Um, so she's really... <laughs> Cowboy, watch out. I'm going to knock you over. <laughs> so I did learn that she's not used to having the bit in her mouth. So... You know, like I said, trial and error. We're going to try stuff. We might make mistakes, whatnot. But I did learn later on that the Bozal was a lot better because she was really, really getting anxious about that bit in her mouth. So I'm thinking that she doesn't know or has been bitted before. I, I don't know. I don't know much about this horse. And we eventually started going forward. And the times that I would circle her, you you notice, is because she'd get stuck and wouldn't want to move forward. So there, um, I finally got her to stop and I was rewarding her. And then I was just telling her, okay, come on, let's go forward again. Just really simple stuff. Forward, stop. The stopping, she does not know how to stop. She really fights you on that. She really shakes her head and just, you know, just gets real naughty with you. But you don't want to give, you don't want to release that pressure until they've done the right thing. So as soon as she stops, then I completely drop my reins. I take a deep breath so then my body relaxes and then she can relax as well. So anyways, we got to look up a lot of work ahead of us. Don't forget, this is day six okay. and the first ride. See right there, I'm really sitting back to use my weight and I'm trying and I'm trying not to pull hard on the reins. I'm using a lot more of my weight and a light pull on the reins to apply pressure and she's just hiding. There we go, but we're, see, it's, um, it's already changing. She's already going forward a little better. Now I wanted to flex her here, but she just started to move her butt. I said, okay, well, I'm not gonna let go until you stop moving your butt. See, my legs are completely down. No pressures applied. I'm just holding on to that rein and she's really fighting. And then I ask again. And oh, voila! Just flexing every time before I get on her and after I get done riding, I'm always going to flex her. Okay. 